Greg? Greg, honey, I'm up here behind you. Oh, I'm helping Karen. She's on a mission today to dig her potatoes out of this garden. You know, kids, you might remember that today at church we're talking about the mission trip that some of us from this church took in August. And we went to Chicago and what it means to go on a mission means you do something or if you have a plan to do something and a church mission is planning to do something to help other people. So we helped other people in Chicago, people much less fortunate than us, and we saw the face of God there. And that was our mission. I got to find out what Karen's potato mission is all about. Well, my mission, my purpose today is to get my potatoes out of my garden because my potatoes are going to help us understand what God wanted us to do in this city. Potatoes? Yeah, potatoes. Are going to help on this mission? Yeah. Maybe. Why what? Turning us into tater tots? No, not tater tots, but... Big potato! Not a big potato either, but... It's going to help us know what God really wants us to do when we help others. Well, I see one kind of half out of the ground there. Ugh. I don't know. You He's kind of stuck. Amy, I need some help. Okay, He's I'll stuck. Help with that He's one. really, really stuck. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. This is Mr. Constipator Tater. Because oh, he was stuck he in the was ground. Stuck. He was stuck. Mr. Constipator Tater. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm kind of like that. Because sometimes I feel stuck doing the same old thing, never thinking about getting outside of my comfort zone. And that's sort of like Mr. Constipator Tater kind of stuck in his own little world and sometimes we get like that too and I don't I, I think God prefers for us to be a little more open-minded yeah and it we went from the big city New London boys and girls all the way down to Chicago so we were out of our comfort zone maybe that's for sure I learned a lot I'm glad I went okay I'm gonna put you aside and see what else we got oh Another oh. one that doesn't want to come out? Oh, not at all. Who was he? Mr. Hesitator Tater. He's hesitant and doubts everything that he should do when he's helping other people. He thinks, I, I can't help them. It's more than I can do. And, and God wants us to help even in the littlest ways. Because the people that we saw, they didn't always have a nice home to go to or are a good meal to eat and God wants us to share our things with others. So is that sort of like when I hesitate, when I think God might be calling me to do something to help other people and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm not so sure, I can't do that, I've never done it before. But is that what you mean by hesitating? Yeah, hesitating and because sometimes people don't look like us, they have different color or they might talk different in different language and, and I hesitate to even say hi to those people and Mr. Hesitator Tater he's like that. That's why he didn't want to come out of his no. place in the ground either. No. Okay. He All was right. doubtful of what was going on here. Okay. I'm going to set him aside too. Oh Karen! The very best one! <laughs> Amy, this isn't the best one. I know what kind that is. What is it? It's the prestidigitator. What's a what? Prestidigitator. It's a fancy word for magician. And you know how sometimes magicians can do tricks? Like make themselves disappear? Well, the prestidigitator is sometimes, I hate to admit, sometimes what what I'm like, maybe what you're like sometimes, like that too. when we know that we're going to be asked to help out or we know there's a job to do, we walk the other way or we'll make ourselves disappear. So I don't think God wants us to be like a digitator. 
No, I don't think so. He wants us to love all of his people, even the ones that don't have it as good as we have it. Karen, there's one, like, jumping out of the ground. Oh, my goodness, here he is, here he is. <gasps> it's Mr. Participator Tater. <gasps> he likes to participate and do God's will and spread God's word and, and his will and, and doing good things for people that need it. So to participate, that means kids, when you take part in church activities and when you actually show your faith and do something, it means that sometimes you might feel a little awkward or a little scared and you might hesitate and say, I've never done this before, I'm not sure, but you have faith that God will help you and you participate wherever you're needed. And so, boys and girls, you do participate good with the mitten tree and the food pantry and the heifer project. Think of everything you do. I think I need to be more like you. Maybe you, Amy, too? Yep, more like a participator tater rather than a prestidigitator. A hesitator tater. Or a constipator tater. We don't want to be any of those. No. We want to be a... Participator Tater! Remember, Remember kids, kids, don't be a couch potato! potato.